Good day everyone, I'm the Hat Hobbit and welcome to Surviving with Hobbit. Today, we're going to do something really exciting. Uh, today, we're actually going to see if we can find our stronghold, because we, we need to do that in order to actually get to the end, obviously. So, we might as well get right to it. Uh, it looks like the sun's about to go down though, so I might need to sleep, but let's just jump straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously make our sort of ender eyes. We, we need them, obviously, to find the fortress. Uh, we should have about enough for ten. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's just stick... Uh, actually, you know what? What we'll do is we'll probably take half of the blaze rods with us. Um, this way, if we find any more endermen along the way, and get some more uh, enderpearls, we can make more. So, we might as well just jump straight into sort of finding this place. So, I'm going to start from about here, and... Oh, where's it gone? Okay, so it's in, uh, it is southwest. All right, well, let's walk a bit, see if we can't find it. You know, it's really nice just seeing the Christmas tree up there. I, I don't know what it is. I know it's not Christmas anymore. I know I still need to fix my skin. Don't worry, I'll be doing that next episode. Okay, so we're a, a substantial distance away. Uh, I, it'll probably still point us in the same direction. I mean, there's our Christmas tree over there. There's our main sort of mountain area. So, let's throw another one, because for all I know, it could be really, really close to us. Uh, is it going to break? I hope it doesn't. Ah, uh, we're fine. Alright. Uh, where did that actually drop to? I better go find that. I've actually just had a thought. Now that I think about it, we might be generating new terrain, which means uh, we might be getting some 1.15 stuff get spawned in. So, stuff like bees. That'll be interesting. Like, I haven't ever actually seen them in-game yet, so... We'll basically see if we can find anything, because that'll be pretty exciting if we can. Alright, next pearl. Okay, still, yep, still this direction. Uh, looks like I've, looks like it's got, oh, it broke, no! Ah, well, uh, look, well, it looks like we're going to be going in this direction a lot longer, so I'll come back when I sort of find anything different. Well, we just lost our second, uh, ender eye. That's not the greatest thing in the world, but... I'm hoping we'll be able to find the stronghold at least before we run out of pearls. It's not the end of the world that we're running out of everything, because we're not going to fight the Ender Dragon immediately. So, there's not really much point going to the end. And, oh, look at that slime. That must mean it's a full moon, right? Ah, pretty much full moon. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that. And what do you know? We found a village. Uh, I suppose we can take a quick look, uh, just to see if they've got anything interesting. Uh, let's hope we can get there without actually blowing up! Well, I mean, we didn't blow up, so that doesn't really matter to me. Uh, well, I'm in the village, and there doesn't seem to be anything too amazing. Is that another village right next to this one? It's if so, that's pretty cool, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't look like there's anything too, like, fantastic here. Uh, I'll, I'll close the door for them. But I haven't found anything too spectacular so far. I will keep looking though and come back and find anything. I'm honestly curious to know if we'll find a blacksmith, because they always have the best chests. Oh, hello, Enderman. It's good to know that you're here. Yep, yep. Just trying to get all of these. All good. So we got an enderpearl. Excellent. We can make another ender array. Did we get free ender pearls from that? Holy moly, that, that's some good looting. Uh, so it doesn't look like it's a separate village, but it's very, very large village in that sense. Blimey. <laughs> like, this, this is really extensive. It could just be that two villages spawn so close to each other that the pathway is connected, but it doesn't look like it would be. Uh, but yeah, it's, not, it's a nice little find. Uh, although I have become completely misoriented. So, I have no idea um, where I'm going after this. So, I'll have to throw another end of pearl. But that's no problem. Uh, I'll just do that. And it's nice we found a stone cutter. I'm, I'm actually going to steal this. Don't tell anyone. Excuse me, sir. Please refrain from hitting me through doors. That is very rude. You can't find me fairly rather than hit me through the door. <sighs> dear, dear, dear. Honestly, people these days. Alright, so... Looked through the village, didn't find too much, but oh look, an iron golem is fighting a zombie. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this direction. I will quickly throw a, another pearl just to make sure. 
Oh, oh, we're really close then. Okay, that's really good to know. So we changed direction. Uh, I wanted to see if I can get a music disc. Can I get a music disc? Hey, I can. Nice. That if that had blown up that music disc, I would have been so sad. Ah, oh, dear, dear. Well, I'll, I'll head over this way, see if I can't find uh, that stronghold, and see where the ender eye goes down. Uh, and I'll come back if I find anything. Spider jockey! Spider jockey! Hell yeah! I love spider jockeys, they're so cool to find. Like, they're just that small little thing which, like... It's a small little thing and a rare little thing you can find, but it's always awesome when you find them. Okay, another pearl. Oh, so it's backing ourselves now. Yeah, we're really close then. I, I also made up a bunch of the um, ender pearls that we've gotten into new ice vendor, so we might be able to actually activate the portal as well this episode. We find it, of course. Okay, well, we're really close because that's now backing ourselves the second time. So, hopefully, hopefully it'll be really close by. And it looks like it's going to be somewhere in sort of this little area here, but like the mountains, so might be able to do some cool stuff, building stuff um, to sort of unearth this sort of fortress. Oh, has it gone down? Oh, I think it just went down. All right. So it's sort of beneath this tree then, I suppose. All right, well, I didn't bring a shovel. Oh. Oh dear. Well, I, I, I guess that means we might as well quickly make up a few stone shovels and start digging, because uh, I'm really unprepared. Like, I, I should have been prepared for this, and I thought, no, no, I'll be fine. I won't need a shovel. Of course you need a shovel. You're digging underground. Uh, I'll, I'll be back. Actually, no, I don't need a shovel. What am I saying? I'm an idiot. Oh, well. Uh, I'll, I'll be back in a second once I f try and find this fortress. So I just had some silver fish and I hear lava. She... Ah, and there's some stone bricks. I think... Yes, we found it. All right. I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to deal with a massive silverfish infestation. But yes, there we go. Oh, that's excellent. And we found an easy way down in as well. Awesome. And we get the achievement. Oh, we found our stronghold. And it's right here. So we're going to immediately run and break this. Oh, I do not want to do it with silverfish. And this is a very, very rough looking fortress. Hello. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say... Goodbye to you. But this is an awesome fort. Like, this is awesome. We finally found our fortress. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do, and this is the reason why I brought my Fintan Steel and my Obsidian, uh, is we're actually going to make another portal. So I'm thinking in terms of where to put the Nether portal. Actually, how many eyes of Ender do we need? Can we just fill this up? We can! All right. Cue the sound. I love that sound. I love that sound to bits. It just sounds awesome. Right. Uh, let's quickly make another, uh, another portal, and we're not going to delve into it um, into the end of this episode, because I'm pretty unprepared for it. I have, like, okay, well, I've got 28 arrows, but I haven't got enough sort of materials at the moment to deal with it, so I think it would be a bit more sensible to do it next episode and sort of be more prepared. Uh, actually, probably not next episode. I kind of want to finish my barn first. Which will give me a little bit more time to prepare for it as well. So, let's just light this nether portal. Excellent. So, now we have a quick way of getting back here. Uh, it, it didn't take me too long to actually get here anyway, so it might just be worth just walking every time. But, but hey, we now have a quick way of getting back. Uh, and forth between here, because, I mean, 
once we obviously defeat the Ender Dragon, we'll probably want to. Oh, let me let me just make a button to make this a little bit easier for me. There we go. Once we make um, well, once we defeat the Ender Dragon, what we'll probably want to do is make an Enderman farm, because those give you insane amounts of experience. So once we do that, life is just going to become brilliant. And ow. Oh, okay. I mean, I suppose that's one way to deal with a skeleton. Is that a ravine as well? Hold on. Is that a ravine? Ah, uh, hello. It is a ravine. Nice. Uh, go away. <laughs> oh, dear. And the stronghold goes all the way down there. Is that a second stronghold? I'm, I'm going to guess that that's a stronghold, like, the same one. But if it's not, that this is an insane... If it isn't, then this is insane. But it's most likely going to be that this is just one big stronghold. Which is also because it gives us a bunch to explore. I see you all over there. That is just a death trap. But we found a chest. So we might as well see what we've got. A decent amount of stuff. Nothing too fantastic. But good enough for me. There's another chest down there. Let's quickly check what this is all about. Ah. Uh, Nope. 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 I'm not dealing with you today. Nope. Ah, we got two two chests to look at, so let's do this one first. Never ender pearl, some more iron. Excellent stuff. I'll actually exchange the iron ore for that. Thank you very much. Uh, some more iron as well. That is a floating door. That defies all the physics of building in Minecraft. I'm just not going to ask. I think we've got two libraries as well, which is really handy, because I'm pretty sure you can find enchanted books in these. Uh, where's the ladder? It's usually a ladder. There's the ladder. Uh, is there a chest? There should, there should be a chest. Oh, there it is. I'm blind. I'm blind. This is actually a really good source of books. I'm stuck in a cobweb, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to think, because if you think about all the books here... Okay, that's a lot of books, uh, and I'm going to be taking all of them. If you think about how many books that you, um, you use for, like, bookshelves and stuff, it's a ridiculous number, which you don't get the word back for. So it's nice finding these really good sources of books, just sort of in strongholds. Okay, down, down into the depths of this place. This feels so dangerous. This honestly feels so dangerous. I do not like it. This is a very, very rough looking stronghold. That is a bunch of creepers. So, no thank you. Uh, there's so many creepers around here. Like, it, ah! Four creepers! Four creepers in the space of what? Two seconds? Oh my lord. There are just so many enemies around here. It's, it's making me nervous. Uh, dear. So, an Enderman is now stuck in the jail cell. Uh, I think we're just going to leave them there. I mean, they're not messing with us, so I suppose it's just a matter of going around. And we run out of torches, which is not ideal. Uh, I'll just make some more. Let's just make 64 because it makes life a lot easier for us. But yeah, I mean, I can't see too much interesting in this fortress. Another floating door. Like, this is a very, very, very rough world generation. Alright, another chest. Just some apples and some gold. Nothing too fantastic, but hey, it's loot. So, I'll, I'll grab the apples and probably leave the gold. I can't think of anything to do with it really at the moment. Uh, we're not going to fall down there because that would be bad. It's really hard to tell where I've sort of explored already because everything obviously looks the same because that's how this place is designed. It's sort of like a labyrinth and it's really, really annoying because it's just like, it'd be so much easier to explore if it weren't like a labyrinth because I don't know if I've explored this part yet, but I think I have. That's the problem. <sighs> Honestly, like, it's, it's got to the point where it's just like, where am I? Like, I'm genuinely lost. Okay, there's our little friend. So, yeah, we, we have just basically gone in circles. So, um, I think, to be honest, that's most of the stronghold, which, I mean, 
I've looked around enough. Like, there, there, there's not too much to say about strongholds, but... I mean, this stronghold is really high up, if I remember correctly. Like, oh, hold on, what level are we on? Okay, so it's not actually that low, uh, that low in comparison with, like, the surface, but... Still, it's still decently low down. I'm just surprised we found it so fast. I am so glad I looked down here. This <laughs> is... I mean, getting some emeralds out of this is certainly a good way to do stuff, so... Yeah, uh... I genuinely don't know if there's any more to explore. I mean, I'll come back if I do find some stuff, but... If not... That might just be about it for around here. Which would be a bit sort of annoying, because this is a very, very sort of rough stronghold in general. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can find where I first saw that ravine and see if it is the same place, because if there are two ravines sort of next to each other, that is a really, really weird world gen, and I'm not sure if, or if it's supposed to do that. Let's just fix that, because that's just going to get annoying if I fall down. Uh, now, wh wh where was that massive gap where we saw that ravine? I think it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Uh, no, that's the library. That's the other library. Um, I genuinely don't know. Um, I might be a little well. I'll, I'll come back if I find it. Oh, actually, might as well explore down here. Yeah, this is definitely another part of the stronghold. Uh, we need another button. Button, please. Button. Button. Excellent. Let's go down. All right, so... More sort of corridors at the moment. Nothing too spectacular. A bunch of sort of scuffed edge of strongholds, which... It's cool that you can access them from the outside. So, I had this weird sort of thought earlier, actually. Um, I think it'd probably be possible to completely survive from completely being underground in Minecraft. Like, you start the game underground and you don't come above ground again in the weird sort of way. I think it's possible in Villain of Minecraft. So I was considering maybe doing like a mini-series of trying to actually survive for as long as I can just underground. Maybe, maybe in hardcore, because that'd be pretty cool, I think. So, let me know if you want to see that series. I mean, it'll be an interesting idea. Chances are it won't last for too long. But I think it'll be a pretty cool thing to do. So it looks like this goes down even further. Hello, I'm just going to get rid of you. Uh, but yeah, this looks like it goes down much further. Uh, let's just quickly break through here. Yeah, this definitely goes down further. Let's very quickly take a look, because we are running out of time a little bit. Ah, yeah, here we are. This, this is very fun. <laughs> um, that wasn't the smartest idea, I think. Does it really stretch all the way over there? It must do. All right. This is, like, really weird generation. I do believe that's it, though. I could be wrong. No, 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 no and obviously that we have found a fortress, but it's a very, very broken fortress, in a sense. So, nope. I keep falling down holes. But, nope. one day, one day I'll do the smart thing and put a block before I start walking. But, it's, it's a bit of a shame that this place is pretty scuffed, in a sense. But, ah oh well, I mean, what can you do? Uh, we have basically run out of time for the episode, so... I'll get back to the portal and we'll end it off. And he says that as he finds another branch. Uh, why do I do this to myself? Alright guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. I didn't find anything in that last strand of this, um, this stronghold. So, unfortunately, we have run out of time. So, thank you ever so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, 
please consider hitting that like button, it really does help me out. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing to um, see more content from me. But apart from that, all I want to say is take care and bye bye.